and welcome to the July edition of the IPEM President's Vlog. First of all, I'd like to draw to your attention a couple of events that are to be held online over the next few weeks. The first of these is a scientific computing symposium on the 19th of July, and the second a clinical risk management course on the 2nd of August. If you're interested in either or both of these events, you can find further details on the IPEM website. There are a number of challenges that we currently face in our profession, one of which is staffing levels. An IPEM report published recently into staffing levels in the radiotherapy physics workforce has identified that these are barely adequate to support clinical services. The problem is particularly acute in the clinical technologist workforce that work in the area of radiation engineering. If you'd like to read a copy of this report, you can find it again on the IPEM website. Another challenge is that of radionuclide supply. IPEM has recently convened a roundtable discussion with a number of key stakeholders to discuss ways of how to address the radionuclide supply issues. It's likely that a coalition will form out of these discussions, which will start to lobby and press for change in this area and hopefully stabilise the radionuclide supply. Finally, I'd like to draw your attention to a number of volunteer posts that are currently available. You can find details of these posts on the IPEM website, as always, but uh, they include several vice president roles, a member trustee and a deputy director of STERIC. The closing date for applications for all these posts is the 25th of July. And as I've said before, they're a really good way of obtaining skills that are hard to obtain in the workplace. So please do look at them and consider whether or not you'd like to apply and get involved. Music